mechanically, okay, you guys completed the main quest and one side quest. You did not deliver on the corpses. Well, because nope. they were freaking impossible to kill. So, you also never really focused anything. You were the only one that ever really did damage to anyone. <laughs> I was looking. Cameron really and game. Severo were just like yeah, evading the whole time, so you never really tried. But I tried. All in all, you guys earn seventy-five thousand gold for the completion of this race, and one hundred thousand gold for betting on yourselves to win. You come out of this with two hundred and two. Thousand one hundred and twenty gold. Nice, bro. We banked the system. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to. We, we're we're, just, we're now, not Here's the finish. question. Let's go buy our island. We're That's good. what I was gonna say. Can we just purchase the win? <laughs> <laughs> the finale win. We just buy it. That's the case. Uh, Crest of Alizai would have won already. Yeah, those guys suck. How long are we waiting before anybody else shows up? Uh, also, do we still have the Abolith egg? Can yeah, we you still have the Abolith egg. So, um... Sell it. Uh, I, as you guys leave the arena, and after, you know, kind of all that uh, subsides, uh, you are told that there... So, there is the banquet um, after this. Uh, tonight, there is another banquet. And at this banquet, you're able to take, you know, the egg and effectively show it off. Um, as an achievement, but they would like the uh, Ableth Egg returned for future games, um, you know, to be able to be played so that they can harvest these and replace those Ableths that have been perished. Um, what would be the consequences if Gugma made some, like, scrambies Scrambled out of eggs. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> um, they, will, they will charge you 500 gold or give you 500 gold, whether you hand it in or if you Keep the egg. You oh, will just be 500? charged. So Ugma's gonna eat it. <laughs> Get that protein, <laughs> bro. When you're that rich, like you gotta just try stuff. How big is the egg, bro? This thing, you're. It's like a backpack <laughs> size. Like this is this is a big egg. Oh my god. Weighs probably a good fifty pounds, sixty pounds. It's heavy, and big. <laughs> Like a sack of flour, uh, big old fifty-pound bag of flour. Um, so yeah, you guys can hold on to the egg for the banquet purposes of being able to show off your winnings. You have the sedimentite spire as well as part of that. Um, and where was you guys did not damage another person's ship. You also all gain one potion of long rest per person. Heck yes. Thanks. This one is specific to saying an action to use. So no bonus action use for this. It is a long rest potion pounded on an action and you gain the effects of a long rest. That's that's nice. That is really good. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets, guys. <clears throat> you also gain information about your upcoming events, but no clue about the finale. Who trash? Who gets a clue about the finale? Who do you think? No one. Crest no one. Boys. Good. No one. They all no suck. One. Who? Okay, so crusty crap. Who then? You guys Ooh. also took out a lot of the Mertrolls in the beginning because you got you and you and Chi Unit and Honey Badgers were the first three across, so you were the first ones to get encountered by the Mertrolls and kind of gotcha. used them all up. Um, who did anybody not get the Apple with egg? Um, no, there were there were two others that got the Abolith egg, the Crest of Alizite. And the Brains and Brawn got theirs. How? I want replays. <laughs> I gotta watch films. <laughs> Watching film. Um, but no one else got any other achievements. Everyone else damaged ships. Um, 
we will go over most of this at the banquet tonight okay. of the proceedings of this <laughs> of this boat race. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, yeah. I need some rest. So, um, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, I we will, a lot today. So yeah. we'll, we'll do a long rest after the banquet. The banquet right. we'll go to, um, as like a dinner banquet to kind of concede, um, to the night and then have a long rest before the following games, which <clears throat> you guys also, I guess I said that you guys get that information and didn't give it to you. Hey, Severo. Up. I tell you a little secret. Sure, big man. What's going on? Give that to you. That's the most I've ever showered since we got here. <sighs> Just like a little. <laughs> mm, might... Well, that's good, buddy. I mean, the salt water is not really. Mm. Oh, the goblin needs a stinky friend. Just say that. Where is this banquet? Uma hungry for eggs. All right, so you guys get back. You, you're <laughs> able to, you know, kind of shower or whatever, you know, kind of make yourselves a little bit presentable or not. Um, well, I, I go put on, like, <clears throat> take off my cloak, the whatever, and we'll put back on my wolf skin because that's, like, my thing. Beautiful. And you guys will go back to the banquet hall. This is the same banquet hall you guys went to uh, the first time after the first game. Uh, you have not been back there since. Um, if you remember, this is a this is a big long hall that has uh, three to four tables, you know, side by side, with the head table up at the front. Large pillars on each side, huge stained glass windows, very elegant. Um, with in the back is where you know the this the kitchen is at, along with the tables, you know, for serving. That's where most of the servants come out. They, they go past all you peons first and serve the people up ahead. This is where all the investors, the game masters and whatnot all um, hang out. Um, when you guys arrive at the banquet, you obviously recognize um, a couple familiar faces. You recognize, of course, the five other teams. Crest of Alazite, um, the Brains and Brawn, Honey Badgers, Power Seekers, and the She Unit who uh, is surprisingly in good spirits, despite the fact that they've lost every single game. The She Unit um, took second behind you guys. Did really nice. well this race. Um, so they're in high spirits. They got they got a lot of drinks going around. Um, you guys also um, remember Jennifer and Jonathan. Uh, Jennifer no, was... Uh, no, that was Kedley. Kedley was Kedley, the one yeah. that um, you guys spoke to. Jennifer and Jonathan were the ones that Tommy interacted with um, on the side of the banquet while you guys were doing your little drinking game. Yeah. Kedley was the also the little dwarf down in the, the cavern with the, the, the black diamond that you had to get. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and there's obviously a couple other uh, three or four uh, investors at the table as well. Um, you guys find a seat, and before they bring out the food... Um, Ulu Katul comes in, and everyone's ah Ulu yeah Katul. <laughs> and hey, how's everyone doing? What am I doing here? I need my mic. How's everyone doing? I need a mic <laughs> so everyone can hear my boisterous voice. Really, all this mic is is a uh, press's agitation, amplifying my voice at all. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> Thank you. Um. Adventurers, players, gifted patrons, welcome to the height of these games, the Masters of the Gauntlet campaign. Woo! We we are so excited that everyone's here. Um, I think we fans know it's kind of a clear choice right now as to kind of who some of the leaders are of the groups. Um. Unfortunately, there's always winners and there's always losers. There are some people that don't do as well in these games, and that's okay. There's always um, next games to come back to uh, and compete in future events. Now, some highlights 
from the recent games. We have... Oh, shoot, where are my notes? And our top-viewed, most wonderful um, event that happened to our Honey Badger friends. They had the most hardship on the ship, yet still came in third. Everyone, the Honey Badgers! Yeah! I never, yeah, 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 honey badgers. Little claps, you know. Despite their hardships, they managed to pull through, being punched and and berated by the other players and teams. Their ship was mangled, their spirits and morale was shaken, their flag was stolen, and they still came out victors. I'm going to nudge several. I wonder what happened to their flag. (laughs) (laughs) And also, the next best and most wonderful example of teamwork is Crest of Alizite. Everyone, the chosen team. Yeah. Um, Crest of Alizite in this previous boat race did the most damage out of any other team out there. They went hard in the paint right last in the beginning. Place. And despite the fact that they got last place, it is <laughs> such an achievement. Yes. Ah, press outside, outside, outside. And, of course, in our top spot, the team that, you know, won the pot and, you know, it's kind of team weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like... <laughs> no, um... he gets a little bit more excited than that. <laughs> <laughs> Team Weird, who has become undefeated since the beginning of the games. Team Weird. <sighs> Team Weird. Team Team Weird. Team Weird. Hey, Ugma, drink for us. Drink, drink. Ugma's gonna grab a big old beer, and he's gonna he's gonna gesture towards the investors and he's going to say ugma ready to be investor as well <laughs> and he's just going to pound a big old beer uh. <laughs> well teams and adventurers enjoy the evening we have a wonderful pork roast for you tonight as they bring out the you know, servants walk out on a tray there's like six of them holding like a big old hog it's just lathered over over a bunch of, you know, toppings. We have a wonderful feast for you tonight. We hope you enjoy and prepare yourselves for the oncoming games. The previous, the next adventures that you will be partaking in are in preparation for the finale of these games. As you all know that have watched these wonderful games in the past, this is the apex of the, the games where we kind of decide who is pulling away from the pack and who's going to get left behind. Now... We do have a slight twist in this year's games. This year, the players and adventurers that will be moving on in these games, we are only choosing two teams. And, obviously, Team Weird is on their way to victory in the final rounds with... Drumroll, please. I see if he says Christ. I'm going to kill myself. (laughs) Crest of Alizite taking second place to Team Weird in the number of wins that they've had over the course of these games. They are now head-to-head in the final competitions of this game as we approach the finale. Um, (laughs) Head-to-head? (laughs) Head-to-head. Head-to-head. Had to ask, man. <laughs> man, how much do they have to pay after getting last place in a boat race? Yeah, no I'm kidding. <laughs> Daddy, cough that one up. Catch. You guys forgot to take off your knee pads. <laughs> <laughs> you got some brown on your. <laughs> this area. <laughs> They messed up on your makeup. Yeah, you got something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, they are and they are the honey badgers, honey badgers, the power seekers, um, brains and brawn, 
and she unit have only ever won one game. You guys have won four, and Crest Valza has won two. So they are technically in second place. <laughs> trash. <laughs> They're all trash. Uh, <clears throat> that's funny. Okay. <sighs> Mechanically, going forward, gentlemen, in these games, there is a finale. Okay. There is a preamble to the finale. And there are two side quests. Side quests, adventures, they're not really side quests, but they are smaller games that will be taken. So there are two small games to be had, a preamble and the finale. That's how it'll be structured going forward. And you will be going head to head with one other team in each of these games. The same um, team for all four, or the rest of Alizade, like The rest of them are going home. Oh, the rest are going home with yeah, their winnings actually, or yeah. their losses. So it is only wow. you and the Crest of Alizite continuing forward from here on out. Gotcha. Um, let's see. So. And so these are these are not in previous games. You know we've gone. You know it's this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. These two are side by side. You effectively are given a choice as to how and which direction are you wanting to do this one first, and then this one, or this one, and then this one, or you know are you wanting to just skip that all together and go to the preamble and then the finale? All the the side quests essentially are going to do. They are player choice. If you choose not to do them, that's fine. The other team has the option as well to opt out. Um, if one team opts out, then the other team has the option to opt out, and we just go to the finale. Um, with these, these obviously, these side quests grant boons or you know items or whatever that may that go into a pool of choices you can make during the finale. Each side quest effectively has three items or abilities that you gain by completing them that you can choose from in the finale. In the finale, you're only able each to choose one. You'll have a pool of, you know, six, seven or so by the time you reach. And so you can kind of pick your favorites that you might um, use going into uh, the finale. Uh, unfortunately, since you did not complete the side quest, I can't give you any more on the finale until after you complete the two side quests or decide to skip them. And so keep that in mind as we are moving forward with this. Mm. Um, I guess while we're talking about it, the so we have two side quests. One is the gambling games. Masters of the Gauntlet gambles. Or. And or. Where did it go? Um, the mystery box. Oh, dude, 950 points, mystery box, dude. Give me the ray gun, give me the ray gun, give me the ray gun. Get that ray gun. You got to shoot so it, spin, have... and then shoot it first. Mm -hmm. Gamble Hall and mystery box, okay, are the two side quests. We can bypass those all together. Just go to the preamble and move right on. If you guys are think you are ready to take on the finale of this game and just throw Crest of Alizite to the curb, Alizite to the curb, that is up to you. For More now... Content. We will continue with our banquet. Just a little teaser to have you guys continue to think about it. So, during this, once again, you guys have the wonderful opportunity to converse with other teams that you know are going home, brag, whatever. Um, you're able to talk to investors, especially investors that may have been invested in teams that are now going home. It's either you or the Crest of Alizite. You guys so far have zero people that are in you. You have smoothed over. Headley, yeah. if you guys remember back, he, you guys didn't really believe in yourselves, or so he didn't believe. Um, this recent bet on yourself, I don't think proved it, but definitely turned that more in the direction of yeah, we actually do believe that we can win this. So he was waiting for you guys to essentially just find what is it that you actually want? Are you here to just play games or are you here to win? Um oh, look at the scoreboard. 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 <laughs> scoreboard. 
Jennifer, um, Tommy, you talked to a little bit. Uh, she didn't offer you anything, but Jonathan, her brother, who's kind of a pompous asshole, came over and anything that she is willing to offer you as an investor, he is willing to one up. Um, which you never really got into anything. She was currently at the time invested in the she unit, which is now, you know, obviously a bad investment and has gone sour. <clears throat> And so um, the rest of them, you have not, um, you haven't really met. Well, go get some work done. Go get some schmoovin', dude. Oh, it's go, go up schmooze. to you guys if you would want to continue forward or just go solo. I mean, we don't Part need no man. to just go solo. <laughs> but I don't, I also want to get some RP in, dude. Yeah. Um, I think we should do the sides. Uh, well, just because... More content. Riley had it prepared. We should full send it. The gambling yeah. one sounds fun, That's, and I'm here. I'm, I'm down. Up to you. Does guys. it count against our overall? Like, are these overall actual, what? actual? Like, is this on record, or are these just like bonuses? On record. What do you mean? On <clears> like, record? does like our scoreboard? Does it count against our scoreboard? For the side quests? Oh no! So this, so the side quests are just yeah. it's to gain additional stuff that could help you moving forward because the preamble is elimination. Uh, but once you go to, if you were to skip these, you're onto elimination and those that win go to the finale by themselves. Uh, oh, the finale is just a one man show. It's a one man show. And so uh, winning the preamble, so okay. this is how the games work is that by winning the preamble, that is you proving that you are better than the other teams that participated in these games. Gotcha. But the finale is to prove that you are truly the number one best team out there. It's one of those um, that not everyone that has won beat. Mm, okay. I see. Gotcha. Hmm, okay. So you by winning so we against have one the more game against Crest unless preamble. we do the sides and then yeah. if you do the sides then you'll be going up against them. It'll be up against them, but it won't be up against them because you're both playing be side for your side. own benefits. Sure. And it's not like you're facing off against each other. Just um, based on how we do individually is what we get. And it's just bonuses that you acquire for yourselves to better help you in in the finale and games to come. So okay. gotcha. Yeah, might as well hmm. do it. So, and investors can help. They have some things that you can earn um, by doing things for them or by being invested or whatever. And so they have also kind of side quest stuff too. So all of that is the sandbox. I see. How you choose to move forward. If we can just have a great night, say later, bitches, and... Just move on to go beat the Crest of Alizite, or we can, you know, go and have some have some fun. And not that it won't be fun the other way. Sorry, that was a bad way of putting it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, one way's fun, one way's not fun. <laughs> yeah. okay. No, and it, it it won't bother me either way. No matter what you guys choose, this is this is how I like to play D and D. I put options out there, and you guys choose one and go with it. Well, maybe we should inquire on like what. What each of these are, like, uh, yeah. what these entail, I guess. What the games entail? Yeah. Look, I look fake. So the, so the gambling games, there are, um, I originally had three games, but I've only, I've narrowed it down to one. It's one game. Uh, it's a gambling game called Hands of Fate. Um, and if you've ever watched, um, is it Davy Jones Locker, Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, the with the dice dies. game that they play. It's very similar to that. There's a lot of bluffing involved. There's a lot of calling bets. You can sleight of hand re-roll your stuff. If you get caught, you're out. Um, your team loses money. If you win, house wins 80 or house wins 20% always. Um, so you can win 80% of the pot of everyone that bets in. Um, if you and the other team end up winning and equaling out by the end, there's a sudden death round. Um, if not, the other one, not that one, 
This one, the mystery box, is kind of another gauntlet. This is more of a puzzle, though. Gauntlet puzzle. So both of which are kind of RP, if you want to call them that. There's not, it's not like the boat race. It's not like yeah. a lot of the other stuff we've done. It's probably more similar to the charades game that we played. Gotcha. And then the preamble is a mixture of all of it. And the finale is the finale. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see. Well, first things first, Ugma goes and he pushes whoever's sitting right in the middle of the giant hog. He's going to move them out of the way and <laughs> sit himself down and begin to feast until he's So full. you just pull up your chair. There you go. These guys are carrying the the pig over and you just like go over and you just move one of the guys <laughs> and pull up your chair down while they're, they're just holding this thing like a table and you're just like oh. immediately <laughs> yes yes they haven't even made it to the table yet and they're like like what do we uh, do like <laughs> it's getting heavy I'm gonna look at Tommy and be like uh, I know this is awesome but we should yeah, let's, let's at least let the poor people get put it down for <laughs> I might need your help. He's in a he's in a hunger uh, phase. He is. I'm gonna use my last rage of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I actually said, bro, I'm just gonna well, let him do his thing. Give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna catch that. <laughs> not uh, even. Not not my problem right now. Ugma. Ugma. <sighs> Come here. Let the people. I just like pull out my ra oh, rapiers or I pull out a dagger and cut off a pig leg and like oh. dangle it like mm, fucking slicing like it's taking me a minute and I'm just like come on this way <laughs> I follow him <laughs> like a freaking dog <laughs> and, uh, Ed and R speaks up and he's like team weird aren't you supposed to let the the lesser peons go first as they are leaving these games Edinar is the, uh, he's the kind of the leader of the Crestovales, um, the pompous. Oh, oh, can I belch in his face? Oh, you want to eat first because you lost in that boat <laughs> race? Poor baby boy. Oh, boo -de -boo -de -boo. <laughs> oh this he's like, leg. He like, leg his hand weapon. kind of crushes together and you just see like magic just kind of sparkle Why in his hands. Go like, get daddy. He's holding back go real get daddy. <laughs> And we'll see how much he pays us so that you can eat first. <laughs> Ooh. He, he sits down. <laughs> like, he just sits down. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> I dated. Give the leg to Ogma. Like, go sit down, eat. Let, let the peons do what they need. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll nudge. I'm gonna I'll nudge serve Severo. him up a plate of food, and I'll take it to him. Be like, "Here's your food, master," and set it in front of his plate. <laughs> um, and be like, Sev, the uh, you need me pee on him? I want no, 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 not yet. <laughs> no, no, a pee on is someone under you. Not you don't actually. I'm looking at this like my camera's here. <laughs> You don't actually pee on them, Uma. It's kind of. <laughs> please don't. Not here. Not right now. Maybe. Maybe later in the games. Yeah. But not here. It's, we gotta. I'll let you know, Uma. It might get to that. You know. We'll see. You let me know. I need don't... to pee. I will pee. I on do you. come over to the All table. Um, Ladriel, the their paladin, just like stands up <laughs> to you. This is like a. This is a big ass like Eladrin lady. Very yeah. early manly style, Lady Brienne style, just big. Yeah, yeah. Stands up to you as you come over to hand him his plate, just ready to, like, hand on hilt. Just I'll just like, completely ignore her. Just completely not even acknowledge her. her. <laughs> and as I'll you set come it up, down in front of him. <laughs> set it down, and as you turn to walk away, she kind of shoulder checks you. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want yours first? Here, I'll be here, here, and I'll take it from him and hand it to her. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'll come back with yours. <laughs> Cameron, what's your AC? Oh uh, no. Hold on. Uh, that's a natural 14. Start a brawl. 
Uh, she's not gonna be proficient with this, so that's only gonna that's only gonna be an eighteen. That's my AC is an eighteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> she she takes this platter and just right in your just right back at your face. <laughs> she's like, sit down. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that not to your liking? As I'll like wipe it off of my face. Tell me what I can do for you, master. <laughs> I'm just gonna lean into it. <laughs> Ugma's ready to they throw know. hands. So they they know that obviously they've been in this game a couple of times. Um, and they know that getting in brawls at the at the um. Banquets is not a good idea, especially when it's with the only other team that you're competing with. Yeah. It doesn't bode well for investors when you're, you know, that pompous. And so by just childish acts of insecurity are the only ways that they, like, know how to, <laughs> like, really poke and stab at people. Because they know that if they get caught, otherwise they might be in trouble. Or might be at a detriment the next time because their investor doesn't like them. So <laughs> that's why she didn't up and just, like, uppercut you. <laughs> No fun to be owned by someone else. Yeah. Yeah. So no, they they are right pissed. What they can I right get pissed. for you? You obviously <laughs> need a servant, so I am your humble servant today. <laughs> Should I go ask your daddy what you need? Do you not even know what you need? I'll find your daddy, and I'll look around the crowd. Do I see any? Do I see their parents? No, they're not here. No. Gosh dang it. No, they're, they're watching from their their eighty inch portal from home. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There. Uh, uh, go find daddy's biggest club and shove it where the sun don't shine. Oh. All right, and I'll just pick up like a leg or something from the ground and eat it. Right, take a bite out of out of it in front of her, and then turn around and leave. Hey. Ooh, we don't that. like those guys. <laughs> and they don't mm, like no. us. What's who did we royally screw over again? It wasn't the sheep. The honey badgers. The honey badgers. The honey badgers. The paladin, ruin their lives. The paladin has had zero like if you had been watching and ever tried to notice because I'm assuming why at some point you probably would have been like looking for him specifically. Yeah. Their paladin has not has made a serious effort to not even come close to eye contact with you guys. Yeah. Very I'm mad. Absolutely pissed that you are the <laughs> yeah. reason they're leaving the games. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. unfortunate. Had we known Had we known. Known what? We like, knew had... what we were doing. <laughs> no, but like if they oh, had the... won, they would have stayed instead of the crest mm -hmm. of Azalite. Hundred mm. percent, we would have done that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good point. Good point. I see what you're saying. Yeah, we would have. Yeah. Are they the ones oh. that Wyatt? Uh... No, what did we do? We stole their flag, right? And then we stole everything. You stole flag, everyone's flag mind. except for Brains and Brawn and She Unit. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Power Seekers, you stole. Honey Badgers, you stole. And Crest of Alizite, you stole. <clears throat> gotcha. And, we screw and those were Crest all ones that were right up next to you, ready to go get the flags. Well, except too, for so. Crest. <laughs> yeah, well, Crest, Crest was... Yeah. Well, we, we screwed them over with that petty. whirlpool. Crest screwed yeah. over. Yeah, they we did. did. We got them good. Hey. Too bad we don't have their flag anymore. All right. <laughs> oh, I know. That had been fun to wave around. I was realizing that. <laughs> Strap it in your butt cheek and run around the banquet <laughs> naked. Looking <laughs> for this? <laughs> Come and get it. Take it into their burger. Just <laughs> <laughs> found it for you, bud. Oh, Here's your that. flag. I got it for you. Oh, that would be nasty. Oh, man. Well, I was going to go be sportsman-like with them, but no, they're they're not. You still can no, so I'm okay. not. Go apologize. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not purpose. to Crest. Not to Crest, but no. to the Honey Badgers. Uh, it's just, it's just yeah. um, Well, I guess I'll want... walk over to the two investors that I met before. Jonathan and... So Jonathan, Jonathan normally doesn't stick around hanging out 
he normally kind of tries to pick off his sisters. Gotcha. Um, people, so he's usually kind of hanging around Jennifer. Jennifer is over with the she unit, kind of talking to him. Um, and they seem to be, you know, despite the fact that they were the lowest on the totem pole, they are very excited that they did so well in this last game. And even though they are going home, they knew that they were going home because there's no way that they would have stayed. But they did very well to kind of like on our way out. We're not going out, you know, without a fight. And so they're yeah. they're acting as though they won. Like nice. they they are enjoying themselves. She went over there originally to kind of console them, but they're just like on top they're of the world. Ready you know, to go. Thank you oh. for helping us out. You know, oh my yeah. gosh, this, this has been such a good adventure for us. You know, to get out of the house and out of our parents' basements. Like, you know, it's been such a great thing. Thanks for you know supporting us in in that endeavor and blah blah. blah you know, stuff. Like yeah. That. I guess I'll go. I'll walk up to him. I'll congratulate the she unit. And, you guys did really good. Know, like, I'm in, I'm impressed that you guys stepped all over us so many times. Yeah. Especially that first game. Do that, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys did too good. Huh? Someone has to come out on top. Might as well it's have been true. you. Yeah, you guys did good. That race was awesome. So congratulations. You know? Yeah, I'm, th- I'm th- bummed for... you guys are going home and Crest is staying here, but you know. Thanks for missing us when we were over at the ice, you know? You could have helped out and maybe just shot the ice instead, but... Yeah, that's true. That's fine. It's a competition for a reason, we, right? I don't know if you saw this, but when we shot at you, we actually ran ourselves into the ice by shooting at you. So, you know, that was <laughs> unfortunate. So you almost on lost it? <laughs> we broke through? We would have beat you? You might have. Oh, you really man. might have. It was close. It was close. <laughs> oh, Should have, could have, would have. Yeah, but... Good game, good game. And they kind of, they kind of peter off, and um, any of them hot? Jennifer's left. Yeah, good question. <laughs> <laughs> any of them hot? Let's see. Uh, let's go back here. I gotta look at the characters I made for them. I don't remember. To, well, maybe roll a perception there. check. What? Oh, I got a great perception. How do you perceive um, them? Three of them. So there is one that is a very generic, like albino-looking person. Who? They're a shifter. They can kind of become anything. Um. But there are three others that they're they're not bad looking. Um, they're very well dressed. They obviously look to be very righteous girls. You know, they're very you know. Mm. But Those they're the not uppity. Craziest ones though, man. Oh, uh, the craziest one would definitely have to be one of the tieflings. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on to those horns. There's there's a dark there's a dark uh, horn tiefling uh, <laughs> that just kind of gets your goat. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. <laughs> She's like, why it's always on the romance. She kind of like, tickles your pickle. Give me the romance, dude. I'm going to get it in real life. I'm going to freaking get it in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I'm not. Jennifer kind of like head nods to you, uh, Tommy, as you are over. And she's like, well done in, today, in today's games. It was very impressive. Very ruthless, but very impressive. Yeah, well, do what you gotta do, right? You guys so. seem to uh, kind of know what you're doing, have your heads on straight. Although it seems kind of funny that you have a real bone to pick with a couple teams here specifically. Well, really just the one. Just just the one. The Honey Badgers? No, no, just... Ah, uh, okay. You know, it's okay. They the, can be the honey badger was an unfortunate like. Had we known what would have happened, we would have probably left the honey badgers alone there. You know, it's really just crest vasalite that we just really can't stand. So, yeah, the crest of vasalite they can be pompous pricks, but I mean, yeah, when you have yeah. that kind of money, you got it's hard to, money. and you constantly well, win every game. It's true. But obviously, I mean, you know, all that money from Daddy doesn't seem to be doing them all that much. I mean, they've done better barely by the other four teams. But, like, they still got well, last in that boat race. After how much money do you think they spent on that stupid boat? They obviously don't have the brains now. to, like, make any of this work. Moving forward, you guys look like your Daddy winning everything and having a bunch of money. So, yeah, careful but we what you wish for. Winning. We went from so nothing. Did, so did they way back no, when? No, they didn't. Well, yeah, their dads, not those three. Not those three absolute buffoons. 
<laughs> yes, you you are correct. I I went up against one of uh, Call me one father. of their uncles in the games, and uh, they're kind of a, it's just kind of a family trait. Yeah, I will say it's kind of a yeah. family trait. So anyway, I don't know what your plan is. You know, push you one way or we can do this just on our own. We've done it on our own. We can continue to do it on our own. It doesn't bother me. But obviously, by the pattern of these games. You get more. What are you saying? That we're probably going to be a better investment for you than they will be. I don't know if you're planning on investing after she unit. You probably want to recoup some of your stuff. I don't know. You know? I, I it's like up to you. It's up to you. I like I like investing with the underdogs. I like to see them come out on top. And right How do now, you define underdog right now. Well, we, we those were that definitely lose and come out of... <laughs> we were definitely the underdog. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you've been on top most of the games. Right now, Crest of Alizai, it's really the only ones. You know, that's fine. If you want to continue making bad investments, that's on you. So Roll me... Roll me a persuasion check for the fun of it. I only got a plus two to that, so... <laughs> that's a nine. <laughs> I'll go find Jonathan after this. <laughs> hey, your sister. <laughs> Johnny boy. Your sister's kind of an idiot. Your sister's stupid. <laughs> Just see the. Or, or you God. go with Gaslight him and be like, your sister offered us 200 grand. <laughs> you want to top us at 250? <laughs> uh, that's funny. And then we just take this money and leave. <laughs> just, just, just leave the games. 400 <laughs> in our pockets and just leave. Half a mil and bounce. I'm wondering how much money is daddy's money, you know? Mm. It's gotta be a lot. Mm. It's gotta be a lot. And what items it's do probably they have? more than us. Like no yeah, I bet magic it is. Fit. <clears throat> Clearly the one guy was magical. See his sparks in his in his hands and yeah. yeah. I mean they got a paladin and a paladin and I think a wizard is one of them. And I don't know. Paladin and a wizard. The other yeah, I don't know who the third guy is. I don't remember. Right. Remember you one scene Riley. It's a with... paladin, a wizard, what? and who's the third? Crest of Az Azalite. Alazite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paladin. A bard. And... He's the bard. Oh. The glamour bard because he's he's really pompous and prissy. Yeah. Prissy and so they have an Oath of Watchers paladin, a glamour bard, and a... Uh, I don't remember what the wizard is. Is he an evocation? Oh, he's an illusionist. So he's a trickster. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So that's where the demon came from, was the wizard. Demon? What that demon? landed on your ship? Oh. Uh, they shot at you. That's right. It was from the wizard. Okay. I... Um, sorry. Uh, persuasion roll, Cameron. What was that? You want me to re-roll it? I can no. Re what was it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's okay. This isn't like a, a do or die roll. This is just to kind of see. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you're cute when you try and you know talk your way into things. I'm not. I'm not it's, a super charismatic. Oh, I can tell. Right, so. I can tell. You you don't I just get to the point. Uh, the whole politics, you know, all that fluffery stuff. To I be don't with. to be totally fair, the Crest of Alizade are pretty exclusive with their investors and the investors as well are kind of similar they're not a huge fan of it but it is an easy bit of money but they usually kind of have their own specific investor that's uh kind of a uh, dirty behind the book investor yeah <laughs> um like you said he, he gets paid way too much for what he does and so yeah i think i'd be willing to uh to kind of move forward a little bit um here as a gesture of goodwill she kind of pulls around her side satchel reaches down in um and pulls out a, a set of um gloves or sorry sorry greaves excuse me um and she she goes to kind of take off hers she sits down on the bench and pulls off her her greaves that she has on and puts these other ones on that look to be just kind of leather greaves puts them on 
And her her shoes, her greaves that she had on, she then picks up and she hands to you. And she's like, despite the fact that I've been wearing them, don't take that as, you know, they're not. Bro, you think I'm you're not kind of charismatic, but she'd be stripping for you right now. <laughs> um, please take these greaves as a, as a token of goodwill and... Uh, and I'll, I'll I'll bet down I'll bet down twenty percent of what you put in on yourselves going forward. All right. And uh, but I'll take I'll take a a five percent cut All right. of the profits. So I get my I get my twenty back plus the plus five percent. So you would be earning the fifteen. Like if it doubles down, she gets her money yeah. back plus five percent, and so you get the yeah. fifty. Yeah. Anyways, um, fifteen percent of the profits of that, or I guess it'd be seventy-five percent yeah. of the profits. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Now I will say, my offer is only good as long as Jonathan isn't involved. I understand he can be kind of an asshole as well, but he does know what he's doing. And I guarantee he he has been watching us talk and is going to come over and try and counter offer. And yeah, just I just want to let you know that you know sometimes as she just kind of like caresses your shoulder, quick, just like sometimes we just need to follow our heart, okay? And yeah, be good that. people and I not end up that. as assholes. So. I Please consider your choices wisely. I know that my offer only stands as long as Jonathan isn't involved. All right. What are the gloves, dude? The but greaves, bro. Have a have a great day. And uh, is there anything else I can do for you? I think that's it. Okay. Shake her hand. Oh, speaking of the devil, look at this bubble butt coming this way. Uh, have a good day. I'm gonna go have a drink. And she kind of peels off as you feel that hand on your shoulder of the where her hand was, just kind of on your shoulder quick. Just, hey, bud. Jonathan, you know, he's a taller dude. Immediately. Over to just. So. Wild shape into a mouse. Good, good pair of. Uh... Away. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just avoid just it all. God. <laughs> That's a good pair of woman's shoes there, bud. Think you you changing yeah, over? What's your what's your deal here? Oh, you know, just getting picking mm. up investors, you know what I mean? You know, you mm. feel me? Sure you're not uh finding hoes in the night? It's okay. No judgment here. But cool. my offer still uh, stands. Do I see the do I see the dwarf anywhere? Uh, he's over on the other side of the banquet hall. He, he usually doesn't leave the the stand. Gotcha. Let well, people come to him. Johnny. Now, hold on, hold on. Before you make up your mind now, remember, whatever my sister offered you, I'll stack on 50%. Yeah, that's okay? pretty good. Cool. As well, I'm willing to offer you an extra one up. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Make sure you guys get some good training going into these finals. Level you guys up a, a notch. Yeah. Like. Just know, just know so. that that's on the table. <laughs> how what? How so exactly? We'll make sure you guys get some training and are, uh, you know, become a little bit more proficient in your own skills. Cameron, he's offering you a level up. Okay, just <laughs> <laughs> he's offering you a level. Up That's one point five x. That's dirty. A whole level, you piece of crap. Ugh, <laughs> uh, crap. Now, think on it. I know, <laughs> I, I know you got some some choices here, but just know as he points down to his shoes, they're very gold laced and good, like fine, fine leather shoes versus these like high heels that you got in your hands right now. Yeah. It's like just know my shoe fits a little better. And he just walks yeah. away. Leaves you to I kind think... of stew 
walks away. That's a that's a gross offer, Riley. That's so, that's, <laughs> that's terrible. That's so gay. Yeah, it is. I'm okay. Now, I'm gonna go find the dwarf. These yeah, you can go. You can go to these them if Reeves. You want, but... I'll, I'll since you're so Trash. troubled with your decision here. These Greaves are Greaves of nimbleness. Um, nimbleness. If I can remember here what this says. So these Greaves of nimbleness, they give a static boost of plus three to your dexterity while wearing them. Okay. That's... Gross. Cool, cool. You have to be attuned to them. to Wyatt. And... Nope. That's just wear them. Nasty. Wyatt would do some. Yeah. Wyatt would flips. do some work in those. He would just. He would only heels. cartwheel everywhere he goes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you. I mean, I already have a nineteen. I like he just forgets how to walk. Put you to car wheels. Mm -hmm. What's your you dex? Plus six. Mm -hmm. My dex is an eighteen, but I don't use it as much. Like you use your dex for right. your attacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. My dex that would basically give you a plus 16. two, Wyatt. Yeah, plus two to attacking, and his saves and and uncanny dodge and everything. And your like... arrow catching. Yep. Dang. That All right, well, at some good. point... And the other one was what? Thing. He gives us an extra level? Yeah. An extra level and one and a half, one point five x the offer. Uh, so she's going to go in okay. 20%. He would go in 30%, but your winnings would also be, like, closer to 25 30% gotcha. versus... Mm. Mm. Sorry, I mean, 75 It would I be get closer brutal to 80, critical 85. next. next... Next level. Yeah. <laughs> the other yeah, thing. That, that's a dirty I, little. You guys also gain a level for completing this. When you guys go to take a long rest, you will be getting a level so at the end of this banquet. So we gain two levels if we go with Correct. him. Correct. Oh, oh, you're such a piece gosh. of crap. Correct. You're such like a, a piece of crap. like an intimidating presence. <laughs> okay. What at some point, I want to go find that dwarf. I don't okay. know if you want to do that right Le now. Whatever. He's, he's or... always up there just pounding ale like you rarely see the dude eat like he just is swimming in ale constantly it's like a constant drunk it's just hilarious um he's up yeah. there sitting next to you and um the other there's other two more investors one more that's kind of sitting by himself and the other one's down talking talking to the power seekers gotcha okay yeah i'll go to kittle Kettle? What's his name? Kettle? Kedley. 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 I don't know why I'm thinking Kittle. Kedley. I'll go up to Kedley. I'll sit down next to him and I'll... But hey, Kedley, how you doing? How are things going, bud? Bro, I'm... Kind of wasted? Yeah. Yeah. You so know? good. Things are going good. I'm just... Oh, it's a Enjoying great day. Life. Great day. I made a boatload of money. Knew exactly who was going to win that last boat race. I tell you what. You know, you guys could have shared in the winnings, but you just didn't want it. Is that all you offer as an investor, Kedley's money? Or do you do you got other things? Seems to be all you guys care about. You don't spend a Not damn thing. Really? <laughs> See, that's the thing, though. That's the thing that you don't understand about. We don't really care about the money. You like shiny stuff, okay? You we got, like? You got a nice sparkly pair of high heels from the I pretty do. lady. Yeah. Yes, I did. And Look, she's... Uh huh. Let me let me throw an offer out for you, Kedley. See if what you can do for us. Mm, right? I'm intrigued. I think it's pretty obvious we don't like Crest of Asher because of a bunch of pompous assholes. Right? Barbs in your face. Okay. <laughs> We're not a fan of the pompous assholes. But the they're people. winning. They're no, winning. They are. They're not. No, they're not. We're winning. Get some long ways. We're winning. I don't know oh, what you're smoking. Spirit. We're winning. They are not. Did not hear Luca too. You guys took third place in the announcements, my dude. No. They we were didn't. number two. 
They were number two because they took last. They were number Shut two. Your face. Either way, they're they're other two because daddy. We're not getting into this right now, kid. You we? guys seem to have earned a lot of money betting on yourselves this past game. I tell you we what, did. we did, bud. So here's the deal, right? We don't like Papa's assholes, so I want to make a deal with Jen. She made us an offer, and then her older brother Johnny Boy is a Papa's asshole. But the offer he made us is, you know, get us some training. But I don't want to train with a pompous asshole. Right? You seem like you got your your head on your shoulders pretty well, you know. You don't you're not all that pompous. You you like your money. That's for sure. So how about instead of you falling asleep? <laughs> <laughs> how about you offer us some training? Right. You team up with us. If you're so invested in them winning and you want to put your money towards them, I'll let you do that. But then put some training onto us and we'll team up that way. I'd be willing to team up, but I think I'm going to go halfway. It's not going to be as full as it was before. I can train you guys, give you some proficiencies in talking and stuff. It's good. It's good to talk. Okay. You're good to talk. Yeah, good to talk, okay? And this could give you some more people to talk to. Now, hold on before I say anything. I've got lots of money. Yeah. And Chris of Alizai makes a lot of money for me. Chris of Alizai, it's a pompous... Well, I'm betting against them because they're pompous buttholes. No. Do you want our proficiencies? I want a level. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep this up. I want a level. Oh, that, that, I think Jonathan was asked, uh, offering that to someone else last game. You should, cut, you should talk to Jonathan. All right, Kedley. Kedley. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. He's I'm gonna just go slide him. That's what I said. <laughs> all I said is go I just didn't him. hear you, man. Hey, you want some it's beer? Right. I'm good. Oh, I'll okay. take a swig though. Hey, later. I need another swig. I'm gonna make a perception check. What are the other two investors look like? Like, do they look like like what? Well, what can I? There's three of them. So there's one next to Kedley, and then there's another one off over on the other side of the table by himself, and then there's another one down with the power seekers that you haven't ever conversed with. All right, let me let me roll. I, I guess either perception or insight, and just kind of see which one I'm more likely to get what I want from them. Um. So the one sitting. Uh. Go ahead and roll. Uh. Just roll a perception for me. Um. 17. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So, the one sitting at the end of the table um, seems to be very, be very secluded. They don't seem to have much interest in talking with anyone else. Um, roll... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Roll me a history check. Can you remember? Eleven. Remember. Eleven. You remember seeing this is so. This is Jamea at the end of the table, sitting by themselves. You remember seeing them? They were. They have been the only investor or a person that you remember the Crest of Alzite really speaking to at the beginning of the games when they were first introduced. Gotcha. They were part of their party um, when they kind of came into the games. You can assume that Jumea is a private investor for yeah. the Crest of Alizite. The one sitting next to um, Kedley is you. Why you, you, you. Um, they're a little bit socially conscious, um, but they're they're a big people watcher. Like they're out looking at you know. They were very interested in in Ugma and Severo when they were doing their their little uh, charade in the first banquet. Um, you haven't ever talked to him. You haven't really noticed him much. Um, and then the other one down by 
Um, the Power Seekers obviously seems to have been invested with them, similar to Jennifer talking with them because uh, they're yeah. leaving. Um, but yeah, Herbert would probably be looking for a new investment. You, you're unsure. He's sitting next to Kedley. Uh, he obviously likes <laughs> the entertainment that Kedley provides. Yeah. So uh, that's why he's here. Okay. So I guess as as Kedley is like wanting another beer, I think what I'll do is I'll find Ugma. Like I'll like I'll find him in the crowd. Mm-hmm. And be like, Kedley, you know who wants a beer with you? Ugma. Oh the big guy? Out, oh buddy, he'll out drink you like you nobody's but business. I'm already seven beers down this little I'm fair he'll for catch him. up. He'll catch up. Oh, you better believe it. He goes to he just irregards the fact that there's a table in the way, just starts crawling over it like a child, just like scooting across and like you know, kind of like kids, how they go down stairwells, you know, with their knees first and butt first. He just does that shimmies down the back side of the table, down onto the other side, has totally dumped out his new beer that he just got. <laughs> his ale's all over the table and floor. And he makes his way staggeredly towards um, towards Ugma. Now, I mean, he's a dwarf. Yeah. The dude can hold his, his alcohol. So it's impressive that he's sideways, that he's had to have had a few to be yeah. this way. So, yeah, I'll I'll send him. Um, what are away. what are you two doing, Severo and Ugma? What do you guys want to do? Are you guys just enjoying and eating? Is yeah, there anything just... you want to do? <sighs> Go ahead, Ugma. If you got something. Uh, let's we can see. Back. I'm gonna roll my d6 here. I am <laughs> five beers in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead and make me a sloppy con save. Oh, after I've eaten the bone marrow out of one of like the giant hog ribs, I'm just going to be drinking from that horn. <laughs> <sighs> you just, you've hollowed out the, the femur bone and you're using it like one of those tubes where you're like upside down and just <laughs> pouring it in the other end. Exactly. Uh, 17 con save. So you're, you're still pretty sturdy. Um, but you're feeling it. Mm. It's starting to. It's you feel a slight tingle. <laughs> a slight tingle on my finger. <laughs> I think it's starting to affect me. The cat holds his liquor. All right. Um. Tommy, now that Kedley's kind of left, um, you're left sitting there. You know, with kind of a space in between you and you. Fun tongue twister. Say that twice. Between you and you. When you ooh, you ooh. That's from Rush Hour. I am you. Yeah. No, you. <laughs> no. That is me. Yes, I am you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, he kind of he kind of keeps to himself. He's he's enjoying. You know, Kaylee's gonna go out and make a fool of himself now, and so he's definitely kind of into that. It's not like it's not like he's avoiding you. It's just. Yeah, yeah. He's people watching at the moment. That's fine. I'll kind of like, you know, turn to him a little bit and be like, how does he get anything done? <laughs> oh, I have no idea, but man, it's hilarious. <laughs> I tell you what. He's a character. He's, he's a, a sloppy character. dude for sure. But he's been part of these games for a very long time. And yeah. honestly, he just kind of lives does off well. the pension. And... He seems to do well. He... You know, the games pay him to be a part of it, and then he blows that money on on investments on the best people, doubles down, and he just drinks himself to death. That's just how he's not dead yet, no idea. I'm impressed that he crazy. can still be part of the games. Hmm. The name's you. I'll shake his hand. Tommy. Yeah, you guys have made kind of a big splash. <laughs> he tries to like elbow you, like he's trying to be funny, but obviously sucks at it. <laughs> a big splash these past games. Yeah, yeah, we've done pretty good for ourselves, that's for sure. But yeah, I uh, overheard you. Not a big fan of Jonathan. It's all right. No. Feelings a little mutual. Right. 
He, he doesn't much. really know how to be an investor, in my opinion. He's kind of a cherry picker. Yeah. Yeah, you don't picks want to off be a cherry. Investment. Oh, he picks off the ones that go sour. He takes the leftovers and offers them, you know, the scraps. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do business with somebody like that. You know. I only will say the rewards are great. He does have some good rewards, that's for sure. And I do definitely want to beat those pompous assholes and point over to Crest. <laughs> You know, so I was wondering if you can offer me similar well similar rewards. If you're still considering your uh your terms with either Jennifer or Jonathan, I think I my I'm kind of out of the running until you kinda of pick a side there. Well, I think I've already picked, right? Like 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 I was telling Kelly, we're not in this for the money. Yeah, no, we're just we're just kind of in this to win, as and you should to be. beat them, right? So I just want to do everything that I can for my team so that we can be as advantaged as possible to win. I just don't want to do it with people I don't like, you know. So I'm I'm gonna go with Jen. She's I've already accepted her offer. I see cute shoes yeah yeah they are pretty cute they're gonna look good on that little little guy over there aren't they <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah i just i don't want mm-hmm. i liked i liked his offer i like jonathan's offer you know and i'm just um i bet i could find that offer elsewhere with somebody that's not so well, I unfortunately don't have the expertise Jonathan does to offer you what he's offered you. If yeah. I know, if I understand what it is, I don't. I don't have the capabilities to offer you something like that. Right that's that's, that's out of my wheelhouse, unfortunately. As you can see, I'm not as well off as they might be. Um, the fact that you're choosing Jennifer is a leg up, I will say. But despite the fact that you have made a splash and you have done well in these games. I kind of want to see. I want to see if what Jennifer Jennifer's returns are, how well you will perform. And uh, you haven't seen that already. <laughs> well, you you haven't really made a splash in the social aspect. You yeah, I you guess talked with true. a lot of people, but you you were kind of you were a little on the embellished side when you when you began. I mean you shut Kettley down pretty hard. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Shut Kettley yeah. down pretty hard. So and this is probably why I'm not as well off as those others. I don't take risks as badly as those others. And so my rewards aren't as high either. I like to know the competition and I like to know where my investments are going. Low and slow. But I will say if you prove to be um, if you prove to, and choose to do these, the, um, I guess the side adventures you could call them before just going head on, I might consider, um, an investment into, into your team before the finale begins. Sounds good, bud. But I can only say again. that the... The investment that I bring is not money or jewels or experience by any means, but it would be in drink. Um, I I dabble in, as an herbalist on the side, and I could offer some some experimental potions as as kind of tribute yeah. to to your campaign. Take whatever. Like I said, oh, we're not in it for the up money. Up to you. Yeah. So. Which I I madly appreciate. So I shake hands. Yeah, shake hands with them. So if you if you you. if you do the if you do the side quests, then he will sponsor you guys before the end. Okay. Kind of a last minute take on. Okay. Cool. There was one other investor Um, beside the crest of Azalite. Oh, lies. There's technically two, but I forgot to mention them. 
There, there's an old crotchety lady somewhere. She's probably in the kitchen. Um, Heroes feast. But I, th oh, that's why I have. No she's out after the fourth. So after this one, so she's not an investor anymore. She's only an investor for the first half. Oh. So yes, Hubert or Herbert. 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 That's an E, not a U. <laughs> Hubert. Her Herbert. Hubert is his name. <laughs> oh man. Does he look like he? He's he kind of. Like? He's finished up, and he's kind of. Uh, you know, hands in his pant, pan, in his pockets, not his pants, but technically the same. Kind of walking back to the table, kind of bummed that the power seekers, you know, are are out. Um, but as you watch him, you notice he keeps he keeps looking over, you know, kind of as he like stretches or looks. He he definitely he keeps eyeing the she unit quite a bit. Um, the she unit, the team, it's leaving. Yeah. He keeps looking okay. over in their direction. Bro's just a creeper. That's what he is. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, well, I'll kind of walk up to him a little bit. But like, I'm Tommy. I'll offer out my hand. Oh, hi, 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 Tommy. Kind of arms folded a little bit. Kind of like, what was your name? I'm I'm Hugh, Hugh, Herbert. You don't Hubert? know your own name. <laughs> I'm Herbert. <laughs> um, Good to meet you, Herbert. And, and equally. Well, Herbert, I'm just gonna get right to it, buddy. I'm gonna make an offer. Jen's made us an offer as an investor. He looks up you? as you say Jen's name, like, oh, oh okay. Jonathan, her to brother, grass, bro. also has made an offer, which I'm probably going to refuse. Jen's offer comes with a stipulation Damn. that I can't accept anything from Jonathan. You over yonder has also somewhat made an offer based on he wants to kind of watch us on these two, two side quests. Who, me? You. No, you, that guy. <laughs> His name's you. You, ooh. not you, that oh, dude. Uh, that you, okay. That not you. me. You, not you. Okay. You. <laughs> so okay. he's also made us an offer based on kind of how things go with these side quests, right? What a oh, okay, okay. What did what did Jennifer offer you? She, I mean, she gave us these nice sparkling, right? Which Can't I think are going to look else? great on him. And then she said that she would cover, or she would. Whatever we bet on herself, she would match twenty percent, and then just want a five percent. Oh, that's it. That's all uh, she. Yeah, that's it. So oh, far. Okay. So far. Her brother, Jonathan, who's kind of an ass, offered us. Was it? 50%? You know, he kind of sneers and disgusts every time you keep saying Jonathan's name. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree with that. He offered us a lot, plus you know some training. But I don't want to, like, we're not in this for the money, you know, yada, yada, la, da, da, da. And I just want to build relationships and, you know, have a good group, a good team behind me. So I don't, I don't want to go with Jonathan's offer. But I do want every advantage I can get for my team. And I'm willing to offer you a spot in that, Herbert. You're offering me a spot? Yeah. I mean, I don't really have anyone to invest. My last investment kind of went down the hole. I don't exactly. really have all that much left to offer. I mean, I mean I feel I'll like make a trade. It. Yeah, what do you want to trade? Here, come over here. And he kind of like pulls you to the side of the room. Not like a corner, but like just to the side of the room so that it's not just like in the middle of the room. So you're off closer to the wall and you're both kind of like angled towards the wall. And he, yeah. he reaches into his satchel and, and he pulls out like... Um, this metal chastity belt. Okay. <laughs> <What? It's gonna laughs> on it. Right <laughs> over the crotch part, there's an insignia, there's a flame insignia. Okay. With a fist behind it. The eternal flame, flame insignia on it. Okay. He's like, I, 
I'll, I'll give I'll give you this um, in exchange for a different pair. And he kind of like looks over your shoulder at the she unit and looks back at you. A different. I'm sorry. I need you to panties for panties. I and he just kind of he looks over at the she unit and back at you. What? Can you get me, can you get me one? Bro. Roll, roll an arcana check for me, Cameron. <laughs> I'm just like, what the? Bro. Let's die. Oh, hold on. I need one. What in the world? What is my arcana? Zero. Ten. Ten? That's just what I needed you to roll. <sighs> this is a chastity belt of fire giant strength. So whoever's attuned to this is a 25 wow. strength. And he wants mm. a pair of panties from the she unit. What's your strength right now, Christian? 20. 20? Okay. So he wants a pair of panties. From he wants a, he wants a he wants a panty from them and he will trade you. What? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Are they get Ugma will get him drunk. Oh. Let's do this. So you're by your face, like roll me a performance check really quick, Cameron. <laughs> oh gosh, what's my performance? Plus two. That's a natural one. <laughs> he rolled, bro, he rolled a 17. He sees right through your face. You do not hold back like you're like, are you kidding me, bro? Like, like total confusion. And he's, <laughs> oh, I, I see you're not into this kind of thing. I'll, I'll just go <laughs> on. to put it back in his thing and walk away. <laughs> I'll grab him by the shoulder. Be like, hold on. Hold on. I, d look, I will say that took me by surprise. That is I didn't strange... want your underwear. I get it. I get it. That's a strange trade, regardless. But <laughs> I really, that's a cool chastity belt that you got there. I can't. That's a cool <laughs> chastity belt. I don't know that I'd ever hear those <laughs> words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no. I just got to think about this for a minute. Try to figure out how to make this work. Okay? Okay? Sure. Okay? <laughs> okay. I'll talk I, to you again. I, I feel like it's kind of simple, but okay. <laughs> Why do you simple. feel that? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm going to figure it out, okay? I'll talk to you again later. Uh, okay. I'll figure it out. And I'm just going to go find Severo and Ugma. <laughs> he, the dude's kind of sweating profusely, so he goes back to his table to find a napkin and, like, <laughs> that down his face. Like... <sighs> Guys. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> we have a dilemma. <laughs> We need we need panties from the she unit, and I'll as I say that I'll take the the sparkly high heels and slap them into Severo's chest and be like, "These are for you, bud." You okay? <clears throat> Back up. You come. We're eating, drinking. Ukma's on five, six, maybe. Little maybe man, him, him, him you him have Kibler, nothing on me, Kibler, and I'm gonna pound it. another <laughs> another beer. Me and Kettle are having a face off. <laughs> These guys are going, okay, well, so he's busy. So you come to me at telling me uh, we need to get panties from the she unit and hand yeah. me high heels. Yep. <laughs> I mean, the high heels are kind of separate from that, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so. I, I, I look, stir my horn around. <laughs> Let's go. Let's Let me do this. Bad. See mine. Is is Jen still over with she unit kind of in that same? No, that she went back over to the other side. She kind of is making the rounds to all the teams that are leaving, but she okay. started with the she unit. She unit. Gotcha. 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 
Is it fire giant like 24? 25. 20, 20, 20, 25. Yeah. Yeah, it's unreal. Plus five to his strength, which is plus two to every sort of attack and check and all that. It's gross. Gross. That is gross. Right. It's gross. So, how are we going about What's, this? We just. I hit, my charisma is a plus two, so it's not uh, great. My charisma it's not terrible. is a plus one, so. But I'm really good at persuasion. Are you? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have a potion of enhance ability. I can give that to you. Hey, Christian, <laughs> where's Alenka? I really need them to pitch this to her. She she needs to be the one that they talk to for this. I don't even know. <laughs> She's like in. The... <laughs> Gone. That's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a I need a female here. To yeah, no kidding. Help me out. <laughs> mm. I could be very uh... deceptive. Be like, you don't give me your panties. The world's gonna end. <laughs> what? You don't want to just sleight of hand them off? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> how? You just how? steal them <laughs> somehow. <laughs> how in the does world? He, does he Where need are their bags? To, where are their packed bags? Yeah, they're that's not a in good here. They're packed back. They didn't know they like were going to their home. barracks or something. Yeah, you could after the go banquet. Go sneak yeah. in the lockers, locker room. <laughs> Wear your high heels. We could get disguised self. You could be a lady. <laughs> I think I have a disguise. I think you do. <laughs> I probably do. Being a, uh, it's not Maybe in my some uh, crap, poly. But... What's it called? Poly poly juice. Polyjuice potion. Yeah, something. Oh, all right. Polyjuice potion. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Yeah. Hmm. I, give you, it's I a can give you a okay? Uh, yes. That is. <laughs> that is so, yeah, I trade. can give you this potion of enhance ability, give you advantage on charisma checks. Ugma mm -hmm. would gladly give up his chastity to... To have so that I'll kind give of that strength. to you because that's my some, persuasion. That's a big PP pee -pee strength right there. <laughs> it's a big PP pee -pee strength. <laughs> my persuasion is a two. Right? Um, so yeah. But, well, yeah. So you, I'd get yours? I, you I would just plus get four. advantage. You get plus okay. four. So yeah, you've got a better persuasion than I do. Yeah. The rolls roll like they should. So oh, well. I can give that to you. I don't know if we want to just like try and seduce one of them and then you just steal the panties afterward. Mm -hmm. Or if we just like try to buy them. Uh, or... that was the, that's the, that's the, that's the downfall right here. Or if we just tell them the truth and be like, Hey, there's this creep or effort that wants a pair of your panties and is going to give us that. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know. They'll just be work. like, let's not tell them that. Let's not tell no, them that. Cause then tell they'll them. just, it's for us. Yeah, it's yeah. For us. We just gotta own the creepy. Yeah, we just gotta own the creepy. Hey, this before you guys leave, do you mind? Uh... Do here. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we we'll do. You since you disguise, you just need a pair of panties for a disguise. There you go. There you go. There you go. Go buy them. Let's you say you you, you crapped your pants. You gambled and lost on a fart. So you just got okay. persuasion. <laughs> you just got to persuade them. To and, and you're like, hey, girls, girl talk here. Like, girl to girl, I like low key really need, you know. You're, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, my hey, goodness. We can continue now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that hit home. So hard for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's funny. <gasps> I messed my G's right oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my cheeks are tired. <laughs> uh, All right. Oh, worth a shot. Being a DM, worth you guys. Shot. Right here. Just getting, watching your players figure out how to go about doing something. You don't want to get panties, dude. <laughs> You won't be invited for the panty raid. <laughs> you guys want any rad. Feel <laughs> now, <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Okay. I'm going to steal one of Ugma's out of his hand, just realizing the fate of about to be his person alive. <laughs> right, like, you're picking it up, and I just grab it out of your hand, set it down. Oh. 
Okay. I'm looking <laughs> at you in disarray. <laughs> Get you another one, big man. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. I'll bring you one because I'm going to need another after this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Do the God. old smack the table, stand up, be like, oh, let's go. <laughs> Start walking over the sheet. Oh, we need invisibility. <laughs> just start... Everything solves with invisibility, <laughs> right? <laughs> start to <laughs> tackle her. No, oh, that's rapey as fuck. Just Don't go. That's rapey. That is very rapey. Just take it by force. <laughs> Not her. Don't take her. Bro, we, I, we, gotta, either, we gotta either sneak into the barracks. Does he know the difference? You know? That's another good question. Yeah. Of what? Whose it is? Yeah. Whose panties? I don't think so. I doubt it. He knows he the smells. Panties. He knows the smells. <laughs> All right. He didn't say they had to be used. <laughs> <laughs> Not Just a pair of panties. Oh, dear. oh my gosh. Okay. Start walking over there. I'm going to put on a nice swagger. No. All right. Uh, perception. Can I see if they're like, they're all they're having a good time. They're all like, we did it, girl power. We're doing really yeah, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's a total party. It's... So don't bring it down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping something tonight. Hopefully it's panties. <laughs> um, I'm gonna walk over there and be like, "Hopefully there's no hard feelings. Just the games. Like I, I would like to get to like actually talk to you because I'm only really all of you." Oh yeah! Yes. Congratulations on your guys' win, going to the finals. That's so big. Hope you guys kind of beat out the They're like so nice. Yeah. And we just talk crap on them the whole time. Yeah, they probably are. Um, yeah, um, yeah that's... We were kind of hoping one of the other people, we were trying to get them out earlier, but... Can't see the future. Um... I mean, can I get you a drink? Like, <laughs> there's anything? Because, like... Sure, get around for the whole table! Yeah, I walk over and like, like it costs seen... you nothing, so I don't know. In their hand them out. Congrats! I just I'm in a <laughs> predicament. <laughs> I need a, um <laughs> female help. Christian's just dying over I there. I can't. Sorry, I'll be it myself. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was composed. All right, I'm wearing. I'm wearing. How do I? Is that a real item, or do can I just? Or do I the nimble shoes, the high heels? Uh, yeah, it's just they're just boots, essentially. Oh, oh, I'm crying. I'll just make it plus three on my. Yeah, as long as you have them on, you don't need an attunement plot for them or anything. 22. I didn't know. Plus 6. They got really good arch support. Yeah. For high heels. Um, I have... Uh, you like my shoes? Like, I'm kind of... Uh, oh, those are cute. All right. It, it doesn't really go with the rest of your ensemble, though, this, like, yeah, I'm... barbarian boy look with the prissy shoes don't really go together very yeah, well. Yeah, I'm, I'm ch changing... I'm trying to do, like, a makeover. Just <laughs> buying bits and pieces, changing aesthetic, you know? Um... So, here's the thing, ladies. I... This is gonna come weird, and... Uh, I work with a special type of magic. It's <laughs> it's. <sighs> I need one of your fours pair of panties. I it don't look at me like that. I get it. I get it. Trust me. I I no no. I'm not weird. Okay. <laughs> they don't have to be. They can be clean. 
They can be brand new. I just, it has to be a gift from a woman. It's just, it's this new type of magic that's kind of, it's kind of on the ground. You've probably never heard about it. Um, Riley's I, <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, why you're doing such a good job. Oh, I need... <laughs> Like, I'll. That's, I, I'm not a weirdo. It's kind of. I need one of your fours, and it has to be someone. I just can't buy them myself. It has to be given to me. Are they? It's like, you know, you never promise a fay. It's kind of like that. Like I have to do this so I can use my magic. It's I. Yes, I know. I'm not oh. saying strip down right here. You're good. <laughs> Riley's dead. I need dude. to crack a window. It's very hot in here. <laughs> Wyatt, you're doing such a good job, my dude. I'm so sorry. You're Christian good. and Wyatt, I can't. I can't do it. They're just dead. I can't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're like, I, <laughs> I will even pay you it's for fun. them. I just... Um. I know it has to be of Mighty Warriors, and because it's oh. a, like, <laughs> well, you want me to roll no, anything? No, dude, you're doing so well. You don't need no roll. <laughs> this is, I, I can't have you roll for this. I can't have you fail. It's just, it's too good. I'm sorry. I just, oh. my patron <sighs> demands these, and it's. That's okay. <laughs> Um, I, I'm just trying to be like they have I mean, to be warrior women, and just it's I don't know. Her name's Slanesh, and she likes women panties. I. It's, it's an odd request. It is. I. But that's, I. I'm not trying to be a weirdo. It's just we we know a lot about what it what it takes to become you know one of the order, and uh, it is an odd request, but. Uh, I mean, we'll have to pack our stuff later tonight. Maybe you could stop by and we could give you a, a fresh pair. I think they said I'd prefer that because I don't want to be even more creepy. Like, I'm not... It's, it's just... I need them. And this sure. will maybe give me a boost in the finals to come. And we all know no one wants to see the crap. And I'm coming to you open hands... Like I said, I'll pay for Are you going to do like a seance burning or what? Yeah. Oh. Kinda, you just need some fuel kinda, for the fire, huh? Pretty much. It's okay. It's just, it's very awkward. I got talked to Oh, this no, no, no. Now I'm here. Hey, it's pretty brave of you to come over and and to confront us about this. And We're honored to be the ones to, to help you out with this. Yeah, stop by later tonight and we'll, uh, yeah. we'll hook you up. <laughs> I am so grateful for your congratulations on your win. Yes, and get home safe. Watch us kick their butts come the next couple of days. I will see you. Ah, oh, we'll be seeing you. Hope so. A little wink and walk away. <laughs> Dude, you uh, helped yeah, character. Was... So well, I I cannot. I'm uh, so sorry. Funny. That was You're so good, hard. Man. The good. best part of that whole thing was I did. I'm not sure how to. Mm, I got this thing. See, and <laughs> <laughs> couldn't hit the point. It was so good. <laughs> Dude, oh, it's just my gosh, that was so great. Oh, man. oh I didn't have to roll. <laughs> That was on the <laughs> Dude, that was so good. Well done. You kept oh. character. You like. Oh, that was well done. Uh, I'm oh, gonna walk man. back to Tommy and be like, "Well, I'm gonna." I walk back empty-handed and just kind of like, it's weird. And I'm just like, "So, uh, you did get yes. slapped." So, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. they said yes. They just, I, they're when they're packing up just to meet them by their barrack or housing uh, cool, cool. and he'll give us one all right, all right i'll go let that dude know so <laughs> me 
either. Um, so I'm coming with you. I have to talk to. Off. I need to talk to him. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I need to talk. To him. <laughs> it's totally fine. Let's go find him. <clears throat> okay, Ugma is going to have three three mugs like stacked on top of each other, and he's going to be pouring them all out into his mouth. That's what's going on for Ugma. Love it. He's going three down. Going for eight. Cadley is Where? not holding on. He's uh, he's either face down in his pork right now, or he's getting there. Little man. <laughs> Make a con save for me, just for fun of it. <laughs> 25. Oh, well done. You're holding your own. Okay. So you guys go back up to talk to Herbert. I see why he's the pervert now. Back at the table. Herbert the pervert. <laughs> Herbert. All right, Herbert. Yeah, go ahead. He didn't know who I'll I am. Let you, oh, oh, this is this is several. Do you have this is my? Do you have the exchange? Oh, um, hi. I'll let him. He's gonna whisper hey. to you. He's like, we're not trading his, right? No, dude. No. No. Oh. So I don't have them right now, but I will by the end of the night. Okay. And um, I told her I won't be using these or anything. That I have to burn them for a seance. And then I'm going to grab him by the rough, the little rough of his shirt and be like, if you fucking tell anyone that you have these and I didn't dispose of these in my seance, you're going to wish, you think seeing Uma at the end of your bed waking up is bad. You'll wake up with me there and you wish it was Uma. Oh, him. This reminds me of uh, Wedding Crashers, where he wakes <laughs> up and like the gay brother or whatnot's in his bed. He's like, "Hi," and he's like all tied up to the bed. He's like, "Oh, what the <laughs> hell?" Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna wish it was Ugma. Uh, funny. So yeah, we'll get yeah, those to you yeah. tonight. I mean, I no, no one has to know. Trust me. Good. No one Good. has to know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Then um, I'm gonna slap me, him in the back. Perk back up. It's a oh, party. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Meet me. Meet me behind the I'll outside, behind the the kitchen. I'll find you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't you worry. The <laughs> weak hand. Away. <laughs> okay. Ugma's over there finishing up his three beers that he's he's got lined up and he's just he is he is sopping wet with beer and Kedley's passed out in his pork, just face down drooling, um, with a beer in his hand or ale that's half drunk. Didn't quite mm-hmm. make it. Ugma is totally beating him out. I need more. I'm gonna like look around for a keg. <laughs> There's King in the back room on the table I've that they keep filling up the beers for. Right through it. I'm going to like Ow. rip the top off of it. Just start gargling it down. <laughs> you, are you going to go for the whole thing? I am. I'm going to try. Okay, roll, roll a DC 30 con save for me. Oh, for Rick. To survive, to survive this and stay I conscious. Don't, I don't think I can. To survive, he just 20. dies. I just <laughs> die alcohol poisoning and dies. Not survive, but like to not black out after Ooh, this. Dirty 20. <clears throat> dirty yeah. 20. Mm-hmm. Not quite enough. You make it like three-fourths of the way through this and are are very impressive with the amount that you drink, but then you end up just like to everyone else, you just kind of lose consciousness. So you just kind of fall into a dream state. But to everyone else, you're going like, and you just kind of slowly, as you get up high enough, you just forget to like step back, and you just fall over with this, Ooh. and just ale all over the floor as you're just on the ground, passed out. You're out. You're just, you're gone. Your that's long how, rest has begun. That's how Ugma <laughs> likes it. <laughs> your long deal. rest has begun. Your your compatriots have to <laughs> pull you out. <laughs> Pull you into bed. Uh, I gotta drag your 300 pound ass to bed. 
280 probably. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want, guys want to do while you're here at the banquet? Uh, we we shop after before that. Yeah, we gotta shop sometime, but that's. Uh yeah, you guys will be able to shop, um, after your long rest if you'd like. Yeah, I'll just prep again. Oh, almost said no mo. I'll just prep up on the table. The festivities and the one that starts. I'll head our way out. Okay, after the banquet. Because um, we got two sponsors and yeah, technically a third here. Um, and <clears throat> so you guys take Ugma back, <clears throat> plop him on one of the beds. At Severo, are you going alone to go get these? Panties? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. I am. You you head over to um their area and. You know, knock oh, on the door. Um, perception check, and it's dark. Is there any, like, flower beds around? Oh, yeah. There's there's gonna... easily some gardening um, plots around the <clears throat> around the, the hall that you guys are in. So, like, after you guys leave the banquet hall, like, they definitely pay people to have, you know, some pluck, druids keep it. Pluck three of the flowers, really pretty ones, and... Album, because I'm romantic like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your panties. Here's a flower. <laughs> Good trade. Good trade. Um, and you approach the door, and you know, knock, and a tiefling mm-hmm. answers the door. Oh, is this the one I talk? Well, they all they all talk to. Uh, you kind of talk to the group. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the only one that's not, like, monistic in practice. <clears throat> you know, it doesn't have really, like... Like, the other ones are, like, paladins and clerics and stuff like that, and so they're very... Um, they kind of... This is the one that doesn't really fall into that domain. Um, she answers the door, and it's like, Oh! Right, you were stopping by tonight. That's right. <laughs> um... Uh. <laughs> Um. What? Oh, do you have something? To, are those for me? Um, they were there for all of you because I really wish I would have got to know you better. Came up and just hey, hey, hey this is embarrassing, and I really wish we would have been more civil. You're uh, you. you're interrupted as she grabs your shirt right here. Yeah. Either make a contested strength check, or accept it. As she is just going to yank you into the room. <sighs> That's her payment. She's going to rape you. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. Um, I'm just like, <laughs> and do that. <laughs> and I'm just going to let it happen. All right. Giggity. All right. <laughs> Until I get tied up and beat up and like. And right she pulls you in and uh, go ahead and roll me. Sacrifice to their god. <laughs> All three or one? No, this is just the one. Uh, Horrors. <laughs> I guess they are called the she unit, so they do things together. Oh. All right, you're fair. That's fair. Sixteen, dude. Do I have to do it three times? Sixteen? No, just <laughs> once. <laughs> How many rounds are you going? That is, but... uh, I don't got enough PP for this, dude. <laughs> if I wanted to disappoint, it's too bad you didn't people, have the chastity to... belt before you went in. <laughs> Be like, suck, suck. Sorry, ladies. Well, you did you did exceptionally well, uh, smooth talking, getting your way in, and uh, hours, bro. The morning comes, you uh, you walk away with not only one but three pair. Sweet. No, you don't get three chastity belts, okay? Dang it. Hey, right, so when I'm headed back to because it's the next morning, um, I'm gonna go find the guy. I remember his name. Yeah, so you head on back. Herbert the Pervert. Um, Herbert, yeah. Herbert is hanging out yes, by you. the mess hall. I'm um, like, hey, you, like, Chris, Chris, guess who? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Hey, uh, I know I said I'd be back last night. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've been waiting here a long time, man. Sorry, bud. Um, my head fucking hurts. I got hickeys all over my neck and shit. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, How hard were you pulling on those tiefling horns, bud? Oh, fucking... <laughs> she doesn't have hair for a reason. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, uh, the 
random it like in a like and then I'm gonna look at him and be like, remember what I said? Have a good day. I'm glad you could sponsor the winning team. Yeah. Oh. He hands you the the bell. Oh, yeah, the bell. I totally turned around. Yeah. Like, get away from me! <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'm gonna walk away. And yeah. Okay. And I'm give him the belt, and I go. Yeah. Definitely didn't need this. <laughs> <laughs> I walk to our room, kick open the door. Not really. So open the door and move my. You wake yet? Or are you just dead? Yeah, I don't think I'm. Yeah, I'm out. I'm mm-hmm. out. Well, they're all His still bed asleep. Is, like sopping wet because of like the sweat and drool that he's had throughout the night. Probably chased <clears throat> himself. I probably got those meat sweats too from. <laughs> mm-hmm. so That's much true. Fog. Meat sweats, uh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wake up Tommy and be like, I feel so gross for doing that. But do you want a pair? I got three. (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah, never. Never. (laughs) I'm walking over to like uh, just like <laughs> Back pocket. Take a hit. Wear it like a handkerchief. Smells like laundry detergent. <laughs> yeah, because those ones were definitely new. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So you guys get your long rest. Um, you gain your level. Okay. You guys are now what? Level nines? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are level nines now. Long rest. Um, gotta get anything? Oh, supreme sneak, huh? I have double advantage on all my stealth. Sick. I already have advantage. Does that work like that? How does what work? What, what do you say? It says uh, I got a uh, supreme sneak. And it said I had an advantage on my stealth, but I already had advantage. I get a fifth level spell. Where did you get advantage from your stealth from originally? I don't. Oh, my boots of elven kind. Well, now I can't wear them because I got these shoes. Well, if you have advantage already, then you don't need. Yeah, them. if you have it, because there's no mm. double advantage. Yeah. Oh, these also make no sound. The only way you get double advantage is if you have the lucky feet. Only way you can get double advantage. Oh, well, I'm not doing actual sneaky stuff where I make no. Yeah, so that works. I am I taking that belt then? I love that Ugma did absolutely nothing. Yeah, you're taking that belt for that yeah. chastity. Belt. I just plop it on the end of your bed while you're just zonked. What, you don't want to put it on him? Wakes no, I'm not up like, putting what the hell? <laughs> I'm not putting it on the big brain, man. Put it on like Bane? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> you nearly adopted the dog. You was <laughs> born in it. Adopted Jackson. I was born in it. <laughs> Breathe through it. I'll be a virgin until I'm a man. <laughs> 